last time we made an armature and this time we are going to bulk out your armature it's called bulking out the form and it's just where you take the structure underneath which is your armature and you add to it some bulk in this case we added a bulk to the head bulk to the chest bulk to the upper thighs and you see how as you bulk out the form it becomes more human like and we also added a foot or a boot okay let's begin with fixing the armature itself we have a little clip in there which we could quickly fix with a little piece of paper and another strip now I'm going to use one of these strips because it's a very small piece and wad it up now when you bulk out the form you always want to wad up the paper what that does is make a series of a little tiny folds in there so I just put glue straight on there and I put it right there in the, the hole and I put some pressure on it and hold it just for a sec just for a sec okay now we don't finish out the bulking process until we add a little strip of paper in this case we need a very small strip this is a relatively small figure um, it's about 10 inches not quite as big as Barbie and Ken or G.I. Joe we need to add a bulk to this side of the armature and bulk to this side of the armature all the way down to the abs. If you look at this area here it bulks out right here at the neck we do not want it to. We want this to be one straight shot to the abs. So from this point straight to there. So that's where we need to put our bulking material and this time I'm going to take an eighth of a sheet of paper, crimp it up, just squish it We'll put glue on the chest there. Crimped straight line. And you can see this a straight line between here and the abs. I need to do the same to the back before I start wrapping because you know when you wrap, you're going to go all the way around. Now when you put this on, uh, press it to where you want it to be. Put some weight on it. Remember we want it under the bolt. So it'll stay in place because when you let go you want it to, to stay. Now we should have a nice chest. We want that to be a lot smoother. So we're going to take a long strip of paper. We're going to put glue on it. I would go across the entire length of the paper with the glue, but just once. Take your armature that you're bulking out. Now, when you put this piece on, make sure you start with the, um, the end of the piece right under your finger so you can hold it in place as it starts to wrap. Well, this is really tight, and if you haven't put a lot of glue on it, it should be easy enough to do. I'm going to go over that shoulder because the... I don't think it's too bulky. Okay, now, since I did go over that shoulder, I'm going to have to put a little pressure there so it doesn't get too bulky there. And now we should have a very smooth chest. Smooth back. Next, do the head. Notice the head of the bulked out form comes out at the front and the back. If you want to open this up a little bit, if you do not have a hole big enough to stuff your finger in, take a pair of scissors and just that in itself can help you twist it open. If that doesn't work, pull like that and then really spread it out. Now I need um, glue inside the head. I'm going to use this piece of paper. Take a quarter of a sheet. Quarter of a sheet. Everything we bulk will be a crimping uh, situation. So now this has to go inside here. 
and you just smash it in there like that. Now half of it is going to become your chin, and the other half is going to become the back of the skull. Okay, so all you have to do, it's got a little glue on it now, and that's going to make it soft and pliable, so you can model it. That glue that I put inside is softening the paper, and I can squish this to a nice face shape, and I can squish this to the skull shape, and there we have it. Once you get the shape you want, now you're ready to wrap it with strips of paper. Now the paper strips, I would take a full sheet, so tear it very small. You always start with the, with the paper strip, right on the edge. Now some people are doing this, and what does that do? Well that sticks the paper strip to itself, and it really doesn't wrap the form. You have to start with the edge of the paper, right against whatever you're wrapping. In this case, it's the head. Wrap it round and round. Just the head. Don't wrap it around the neck. If you wrap in the neck area, you lose the shape of the face and the skull. The neck is the contrast. You are getting soft, squishy material which you can model by pressing with your fingers. So do take the time to press that with your fingers before you move on to each next step. Okay, that, now we have our head and chest. We turn it back around. You can see we need the top of the thighs, which are the gluteus maximus. The big thigh muscles end in the gluteus maximus. So that'll be here and here. Take this eighth of a sheet, and I'm going to bend the two outside edges to the center like that. And if you, if you think of it as in going in like this and going in like this to the center, do that first. See the, see the center of the paper there? And then just kind of squish this side and squish this side. And you should have a series of little folds which you can glue to the tops of your legs there. You just need a little glue there. for the top of each thigh. As your paper gets smaller, you need less glue, obviously. Okay, now I'm gonna go over that. See where that bulks out there? I don't wanna get some pressure on that. So, I'm bringing it around the form, putting some pressure uh, with my hands as it goes around until it gets the shape that I like. As you add the paper, you should be modeling. Now I want this to be less bulky, so I'm going to put a little pressure on it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to, to try stuff. That's part of the fun. Icky, sticky, that's part of the fun. Okay, now we have, now we have a person who we bulked out. Our sculpture is weak at the ankles, and he will not stand. What's the solution if you have weak ankles? Man boots. Feet. Character needs uh, an extra piece, which looks like this. This is the what the foot looks like. I'll show you how to make one in just a sec. Um, and it goes on like this, with this little flat foot, sitting on top. First, I'm going to tear this in half the other way. So now I have one quarter of a sheet. And I'm going to roll it into a straw all the way to there. Yep. Just like we did before, since this is such a smaller piece, we should have a smaller uh, straw. Now we have one straw. Now how do you make a foot out of it? Well, you take your foot and you line this up with it the thing that you just made, your little straw, and you bend it at the ankle. Bend it. Now bend that back to itself and go to the tip of that and bend that back to itself. So you end up with that shape. And they're going to be like that. Like that. And now let's see how this is joined. This gets the foot on top, like that. Make sure you get that right angle right there. So let's go ahead and put glue on it. And 
Now the foot is sitting on top. This is going to be glued to this. And it's going to make a right angle like that. It's a crucial that make a right angle so that he can stand on that. That's what makes him stand. Now, we're not going to be just happy with um, sticking it together. So we're going to take a strip of paper and wrap around it. So this is a much smaller boot. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put glue on that. I'm going to stand it flat before I glue it because um, where I, go to? I found that if you do not do that, you don't have a right angle and then he will not stand up later. And we want him to stand. We want him to stand. He has to have flat feet. Still got glue on it. Still got glue. I'm going to go right to where I know the knee is, which is the center of the leg from here to here, and the center's right there. I'm gonna wrap that really tight because I, and remember right there at that point is the back of the knee and we do need that uh, less bulgy than the cat. Okay, so you can see we have a little bulge here. And I'm gonna wrap it really tight at the ankle. And remember, tip it slightly toward where you're going and I'm going up or down the leg. So, that's the way I tipped it. Just pinch it hold and wrap. And there it is. So now we have our uh, foot, our boot. And you do the same thing with the other side. So, you start with a quarter sheet of paper. You roll it to a straw. You've got straw. You bend it the same length. We line this up with the foot. Once again, line it up with the foot. Bend it. Bend it all the way back to itself. We go to the end of that and bend that too. And now it's like that. And this gets glued to this. This piece, we're talking about the top of the foot. The bottom of the foot gets glued to the top of your boot. All right, let's turn it slightly. Up. So there we go. Now this time we have the other one to measure by, so let's stand them both up. It's gonna work, just like that. Right angle. Now I know where I want to glue it, and I know where the glue's gonna go to, so let's put some glue on there. So let's find the center. Right here where I'm pinching is probably it. That's where I'm going to wrap it really tightly. Slight angle on it so it goes up the leg. Make sure the bulk is gone at the ankle. Okay, now he's got his feet. Now there are other areas where you could add bulk. I'm not going to demonstrate those right now, but they would be any area where he looks or she looks too thin. Not the neck, of course. Not the neck. But you could put some on the biceps here, some on the back of the calves here, and some definitely here. Once you get your uh, paper on there and it started to soften with the glue, you should be able to press it and model it. So you get the shape you like. So there he is, a finished, bulked out form. Just like this one, we've got our lovely bulk. Look at it on the back and the front. And you can keep adding bulk. See how we made a muscle there by adding that strip? We could do the same thing for the uh, biceps. And you could add more bulk or muscle wherever you'd like. And that's pretty much it until we get ready for the skin. The next uh, video will be adding skin.